welcome. In this session, in the next few sessions, we'll learn the concept of discrete time signal frequency. So the goal in these sessions will be to learn the discrete time signal frequency and how it's related to the continuous time signal frequency. So in these sessions, we'll first learn what do you mean by discrete time signal frequency and how it's related to this continuous time signal frequency. And then we'll define what's the maximum value of this discrete time signal frequency all right so let's start now before i proceed please note some notations if we write capital omega or simply capital f this will denote the frequency of a continuous time signal so this capital f or capital omega will denote the frequency of continuous time signal x of t and if it's omega capital omega then the unit will be radians per second if it is f then the units will be one by per second that's also that's same way if we say small omega or small f this will use to denote the frequency of a discrete time signal or sequence x of m and the units will derive for omega and small f in the next session what are the units and in the next notation that we'll have is omega s small omega s or small f Yes, this denotes the sample, sam, sample, sampling frequency, and the unit is radian samples per second, or simply samples per second. And Ts, we already know, denotes the sampling time. Now, Ts is related to Fs by this equation. We say Ts is equal to one by Fs. So this is the relationship between Ts and Fs. All right. So now, before I proceed, let's no, well, let's deal with this. What do we mean by frequency of a signal? What do we mean by frequency of a signal? And let me start with the continuous time so, signals. Let me start. Let's suppose we have a signal P, which is suppose A sine omega. So this is a, now if I plot this. Now this is a simple illustration. Please remember this, and I'm now drawing the values. So this. A scale, I'm not using the scale. So, if I say this is the one cycle of this sine of t, now what do you mean by cycle? I mean, is the value of this, this is the unique value of this signal from zero to let me suppose this time is 0.5. Then we know the sine wave has a duration from zero to infinity means this you can continue to up to infinity and i know this will repeat the same cycle will now repeat after this so same cycle will continue so this same value will continue after this and this is the plot of sine now whatever are the values from this zero to 0.5 these values will uh, will uh, repeat after this this 0.5 time interval we say the repetition time in is that after 0.5 and we denote it by capital t is 0.5 seconds or if i say in terms of frequency we say this is one by t and this is into 0.5 that will be two now what do you mean by two the unit will be hertz or two cycles per second so this is another unit of this yeah. So, in other words, this means in one second, see, this is 0 0.5, this is one second, I will have two cycles of this, whatever this is, and this time the wave is sine wave, it means in one second, there will be two cycles of this sine wave will occur in one second, that is the meaning of this, literal meaning of this frequency, means I will have two cycles of this, so whatever are the values from this uh, zero, the zero to 0.5 these i will have the repetition of these values twice in these two cycles I means these values will repeat twice in this one second that's the meaning of literal meaning of frequency here all right i hope this is clear now let me repeat it one more time so whatever event is occurring from 0 to 0 0.5 i am choosing the repetition time equal to 0 0.5 that means the same occur will next also in the same event will occur in the next half cycle. In other words, in one second, in one second, I will have two cycles of this, uh, this X of T, and that X of T is this time sine omega. Okay, so this is the meaning of frequency in continuous time signals. Now, same way, what do we mean by the frequency? 
of a discrete time signal. So what do we mean by frequency? So I should use capital F here. Now I have the configuration for the capital F. What do we mean by frequency of a discrete time signal? So what's the frequency of a discrete time? In discrete frequency in discrete time. What do you mean? Well, first of all, what do you mean by X of N? X of N, N is the discrete time sequence. I have the values of X of N at different instants of time. And let's suppose the values of this X of N are 1, 2, minus 2, 1. Let's suppose these four values are repeated. So these four values are repeating. So I have the repetition of these four values of this. So we can say that repetition here, and if we denote that by capital N, Repetition occurs after four. Now, what's the unit of this four? Now, the unit of this is not four seconds or four milliseconds or what the unit here is four samplers. It means I have the repetition of the waveform or this sequence or signal after four samples. It means four samples, the values will repeat. The values will repeat after four samples. And if I say frequency, the straight line can say by four. So this is the meaning of frequency. That's why the unit of this discrete time signal frequency is one by samples. So the unit of the time period is samples, not seconds. Please remember that. And the frequency will be denoted by one by words, one by samples. So the unit here is, and I hope the concept is clear is I have the repetition of these these numeric values that those these are the numeric values after four sample time. All right. So I hope this is clear. Let me end it here. In the next session, we'll derive the relationship between continuous time signal frequency means character F, how it's related to small the discrete time signal frequency. How is continuous time signal frequency related to discrete time signal frequency? This we shall see in the next session. All right, let me end it here.